Hello everyone, hope you are having a great day. My name is Victor with Dupips Forex and today I will be doing a quick analysis on Pound USD and Euro USD as requested by someone from the comment section of my yesterday's video. Alright, so if you are new to this um, channel, please like, subscribe and share our content. Click on the notification bell so that you can get an update whenever we release them. Okay, so the chart you see on my screen now is Pound USD chart and I will switch first to the daily time frame. Alright, so um, this is the daily time frame and what you can immediately see is um, this red trend line which I have on my chart, this particular one. You can see how it has guided price over the last few um, will I say months, yes, started since May and that's around uh, about 4-5 or five months now it's been guiding price and you can see that price is still very much above it. And um, right here you can see from this top, you can see this top that this is the highest point in this year. And um, after this, after price got to that point, you can see that it made this impulse downwards. This impulse, this is an impulsive move. It made this impulse downwards, showing that um, there are a lot of sell orders around this region. And after that impulse, you can see this correction that followed, which I, uh, which I drew, I drew in my, um, which I, which this channel is guiding. You can see the correction. So this is a correction. And normally, when you see an impulse. A correction like this the next thing what you want to see next is the next impulse continue and that impulse downwards and this next impulse sh definitely should break this trend line so this is obviously a long-term um, opportunity the impulse and the correction and the next impulse they are all long-term opportunity but now what are we seeing what we are seeing is price which is currently trading above this channel I will enlarge this chart now so you can see it clearly Okay, so you can see price trading above this channel, which shows that the correction is still very much in play. But anytime from now, we can see this correction um, break down and the next move to the downside starts. So, so what do we expect um, from this? How do we approach this um, pair? Also, okay. Also, you can also see this um, level which has been acting as both support and resistance over the last um, few weeks. You can see right here it acted as um, support. Here support, here acted as resistance, here resistance, here resistance, and even here after price has broken down below this level with this um, black candle, we expect it to start acting as resist the level start acting as resistance again from this level, from this um, region. Okay, so this is what we can immediately see. This is what we can clearly see from this um, daily time frame. Price is currently rejecting this level of resistance, and that's the level that I've already highlighted over from here down to this level so um yes this candle actually closed below this um resistance level or let's say support level and now that the support is broken it should start acting as resistance which is what you're already seeing price is already rejecting that level but at the same time we have this um channel that is guiding price and is likely is still very much in play because um this channel can easily see price rejected the support and move on to this same um, highs here so what are we supposed to do to prevent this from occurring i'll switch on to the four hours now so on the four hours we can see that there is a progressive trend you can see side from here made this um, move down made a lower high made a lower low made the next lower high and made this lower low and now price is currently at another lower high so what do we expect this is a downward trend as you can see from the chart so we want to see price continue with this trend to the downside so we want to see a deeper move to the downside to this um, larger um, trend line which i showed you from my daily time frame okay so now that we know that we expect this move to be there even though the channel support is there but definitely with this kind of when you see a pattern like this and uh, making higher lows towards the channel there's a tendency that the channel will be broken so and now we can see rejection of also this major this major level which i already highlighted here which has acted as both support and resistance over the past and now what how do we um, get into this trade and we can see for her is printing a black candle which is rejecting this level this also this also means that we could see follow through to the downside from here but before you can get into this trade you need to see a clear break of this okay i think i need to go to this to the smaller time frame to show you this okay so on one how you can see there is this um trend line there's this um, pattern that has formed also so we need to see a break of this level first 
then on retest we can now consider taking a trade down to the support so i'm bearish on this pair from what i'm seeing we expect to see the next move down i'm sorry about that so we suppose we expect to see the next move down to this um level this support level and from daily i think is clear so we want to see the next move down here and that will give us um about 130 pips which is um worth taking so that's what i have for pound usd once this bearish move continue so i will go to the next one now which is um euro usd and on euro usd you can see that we have something similar to what i've just shown you on pound usd um we have this highest high around here and we also have this head and shoulders that formed around here as well and um this this um neckline of the head and shoulder was broken and we should have seen definitely we expect to see a deeper move to this um major level here but it didn't happen price tied this corrective phase again which is almost identical to what i showed you on pound usd so you can see it has been on this correction and right now price is threatening to close below the support level showing that sellers may now be in control and we can now see that um, expected move to this support level so this is on daily time frame the market is bearish here already and um, we may see follow through or we may see a deep retracement um, I will switch into a smaller time frame now so that we can be clear on what to expect. So this is the 4 hours time frame and what we can see from the 4 hours time frame is that this um, channel is actually a very clear channel with a um, clearly defined support and resistance level. You can see this, um, the levels here, the resistance and the support levels very clearly. And now price um, actually something similar to pound USD started the move from here made this lower low made a lower high then made an equal low but made another lower high and then broke below so you can see the, you can monitor the pattern from there and you can see that it's actually it's progressive even though it may not be very um, accurate so but if you look around this level you can see that there is support and resistance level somewhere around here you can see here it acted as um support here it acted as resistance it added as resistance so this level is an important level and after the break price didn't actually come back to you know we test this level before the main move downwards so it's a bit tricky here with um euro usd we may actually see follow through with this um move to the downside but um if to be on the safer side if we can get another retracement into these levels definitely this would be the best place to take this move to the downside so um i think pound usd is a lot clearer than euro usd euro usd may not be so much and may not be very good to trade right at this point at this point in time we will f because we've not seen that retracement and definitely depends on your trading style Our trading style involves i'm um, seeing a retracement on every impulsive move before taking a trade and even here on daily i will enlarge my chart you can see the impulsive move um these four black candles printed today is the fourth black candle printing without any white candle and this if you get into a trade somewhere around here it's likely that it takes you back to this level to do the proper retest before now making the uh, main move to the downside so it's tricky taking a trade from here and some people i know some people who are aggressive would have taken a trade and may attempt existing around there which is also good but to get the best opportunity you won't see this pull back before the main move to the downside and even if the pullback doesn't occur if price comes down to this um support level before um probably today or tomorrow then we may not get that deep pull back again we may just see a pull back to this um to the channel support before the main we may just see a pull back if price gets to this support level then we may see just see a pull back to the channel broken channel support to retest as new resistance before the main move downwards so this is what i have on pound usd and euro usd they are both similar but um i think pound usd offers a better opportunity um and please always take um good proper risk management when you take your trades i hope this um analysis was clearly explained and you understood everything clearly um if you have another page you may want me to analyze you can drop them in the comment section i will do a video on them on my next session okay so my name is victor and i'm signing out if you enjoyed our um my analysis please like share subscribe invite your friends and click on the notification bell to get our updates See you in the next video. Have a um, profitable trading week. Bye-bye.